yes yes welcome into iatd tv and today i'm bringing you a brand new deck profile this is a mystic mind burn deck profile and then as you've seen in the title we've called it totally fine mine we'll get into why as we go on um, without anything further we'll start cracking into the deck profile and also talk about some of the absolutely dirty wins we've got with this deck so obviously starting out with three of the staple card obviously we need three copies of mystic mine it goes without saying what this card does and uh, why it's essential. Uh, for spell searches, we've got a copy of Demise of the Land and Terraforming. Uh, the Demise of the Land is a bit situational and it doesn't always come up and the good player will get the read on this. So I like to only play one copy that tries to play around such a uh, read. For some burn cards, we've got three copies of Wave Motion Cannon. This is the primary burn card in the deck, and I suppose the win condition in conjunction with Mystic Mine. Then for some draw spells, three part of Extravagance. And we all know what that does. Three part of Desires to help us dig even deeper. Uh, if we don't open it, we can play Card Destruction and uh, try and cycle our hand for some uh, more chances to get Mystic Mine. And that's 15 spells, the deck is 15 spells and 25 traps, so we'll get into the trap cards. One copy of Metaverse, unfortunately it's at one, so we can't play more than that. But uh, if we can flip up a Mystic Mine on the opponent's turn, it's uh, game over a lot of the time. To uh, play in conjunction, uh, three copies of Ojima Duo. Puts two tokens on the opponent's side of the field, and in situational circumstances can do a little bit of burn. Three Ojima Trio for exactly the same reason as Duo, only this gives us three tokens. And then for the burn cards, three copies of Just Desserts. Uh, this can do anything up to uh, uh, 2,500 points, 3,000 points of damage if they have the extra monster zone. Um, the Ace Burn card, this thing has pulled its absolute weight several times, Secret Barrel. I have won thanks to this trap card a few times. With a slightly lesser Secret Blast, uh, can do damage when it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect. And uh, our face down cards are ripe for removal with the uh, deck that we're playing. And it can do 300 points of damage per card. Obviously back row hate is a problem for this deck, so we do play some back row hate hate in the form of two copies of Solemn Judgment and two copies of Magic Jammer. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful opportunity to use an old card that doesn't really see any play anymore and use it quite efficiently because we've usually got cards in hand to meet the discard requirement uh, just because of the slow grindy nature of a mine game. Following that, uh, we've now got a series of trap cards that uh, uh, can help stall us out and help us uh, maybe get into the Mystic Mine by just letting us go an extra turn and just trying to dig for it by drawing. So, uh, some battle tricks in the form of Negate Attack, Fiendish Chain, Spellbinding Circle, again another opportunity to use a ridiculously old card. Quaking Mirror Force and Magic Cylinder. Uh, Magic Cylinder doing it. Burn damage as well is especially synergistic with the uh, deck, but uh, all of these cards will leave the monster on the field for the most part, and that leaves Mystic Mine live, but uh, if we happen to draw it again, if it gets popped and we start to get attacked. And then finally, a copy of Ring of Destruction. Um, with the Arata, it's not quite as good as it used to be, but uh, in situational circumstances, the burn damage, um, if we activate it first, can then set up for perhaps a secret barrel to burn for gain. Now, uh, why did we call this Totally Fine Mine? I've been piloting this deck personally for about four weeks now, three, four weeks, and four different opponents. Um, one of them uh, was a, uh, someone who beat me, and three of them were people that lost. I've all said, you know what, this was Mystic Mine, but this was actually a lot of fun, and this is the most fun I've thought I could have, possibly uh, more fun than I thought I could possibly have while playing Mystic Mine. And uh, my opponent said that the deck is totally fine. Was, totally fine mine, that kind of works. So that's how we got to Totally Fine Mine. Now, I thought we'd... Um, 
just talk about some of the matchups and how we've had some absolutely greasy luck with this deck. So, um, one match last week we were playing up against a uh, Phantom Knight Raid Raptor deck. And uh, he set up his opening board with an Ultimate Falcon, Cyber Dragon Infinity, a Force Strix, and a Rusty Bardish. We had um, the Mystic Mind negated with the Infinity. And then um, we proceeded to go into uh, setting a Just Desert and two Secret Barrel. When he set up his board, he played a uh, rank up that cost him half his life points. So at the point where he negates Mystic Mind, we then follow that up by flipping the three trap cards, which do exactly 100 points more than he had left on life points. And had he not played that tra uh, Magic Guard, he would have been uh, the victor for that in that duel, no doubt. So we just squeaked through. And then later on in the tournament, game three against Flunderese. Never played the deck before. But it was a tricky matchup. We left the uh, fill with uh, Mystic Mine Activate and three Burn Trap Cards set face down. He uh, proceeds to activate Cosmic Cyclone, targeting uh, Mystic Mine. In response, I flip my three Trap Cards, which burn him down to exactly 1,000 life points of damage, and then Cosmic Cyclone killed him for game. The look on his face wasn't pleasant, to be honest, and I can understand that, because while this might be totally fine mine, that was a rough way to lose by your own Cosmic Cyclone activation. So, uh, definitely had some greasy wins with this, definitely had a lot of fun, and uh, the deck isn't too expensive. I mean, the battle tricks can be replaced with just about anything. The Mystic Mine is probably the most costly card in the deck, um, but most people have these in their binders, so if you're considering building it, you can more often than not get these from your local players. And uh, we don't have a full 15 card side deck in this, because I couldn't think of 15 cards that I wanted to put in, but we do have a few cards, so we'll go through them. A uh, couple of copies of Solemn Strike. Um, if we're getting uh, multiple Omni Negates that are going to stop us getting mine online, Solemn Strike can help with that. Um, even better in that option is uh, Forbidden Chalice. I like this if we get um, negated on the Mystic Mine, we can then chain the Chalice and uh, get that mine online. And that about wraps us up for our Mystic Mine deck profile today. Um, spare me in the comments. Uh, no, I know this isn't the uh, most liked deck in the world, but give us a like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Let me know if you've built a Mystic Mind deck and uh, what sort of different cards and decks you might have played in that. I'd be certainly interested to hear. So without anything further, this is IATDTV signing off. Peace out. Yeah, 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 yeah.